Hi there, assalamu alaikum. So we finally did it. We got a cat here in Kuwait. As most of you know, I had two cats in Canada that upon moving across the world, I had to unfortunately rehome as I felt it was in their best interest. It was a very hard decision, of course, and I had to, she had to rehome them. She had to fall in love with someone on the other side of the world. She had to move to the Middle East. <laughs> Had to. She had to give them up. There was no other option. Who draws this background image? Does she, does she, <laughs> does she draw these and like scan them and then they can put them on her computer? <laughs> I actually, in getting a new cat, I hope it will help with some of the grief process from losing them after having them for so many years. We decided to name her Julia, which means youthful, soft-haired, and pretty, which she is. She is a gray Shirazi with cream-colored markings and- That's kind of shade toward BBJ. We're gonna call her Julia because she's youthful and soft-haired, which was kind of the opposite of BBJ, who you got rid of and quite literally tried to quote unquote, get rid of, if you know what I'm talking about. So, I mean, BBJ's hair was all matted down because you never brushed it. And it's to the point where they weren't even able to shave it down. They have to do it in portions. I think FFG said when she takes BBJ to the vet, they can't just shave it all off like they were able to do for Sam. They have to do it in portions because the hair is matted so badly to the point that they can't do it in one procedure like that. So you're going to get a cat, name it Julia, because it's soft-haired and youthful. And I know, I know, like, the whole premise of this video and everything is to spark an uproar and cause outrage and everything. I do, I do. It's just, like, I, I just sometimes wonder, like, does Chantal do this because she's dense or does she do it because... She's trying to make people mad. <laughs> Dark amber eyes. She's very playful and comes every time you call her. She does not like being left alone for very long though and will meow if a door is closed. She is young, maybe four or five months, and is very playful and brings much joy and laughter to our household. My husband has never owned a cat and this was his first experience. He's already adapting so well and fell in love with her the moment he saw her cute face, as did I. She now sleeps beside Salah every chance she gets. As for Harry, my hamster, well, don't worry about him. Which probably isn't many opportunities because Salah probably isn't at that apartment all that much. So, I mean, really, what is she trying to say? I mean, whenever... Someone who isn't Chantal is in the apartment. The cat takes the opportunity to go cling to them. <laughs> mean. Him, he is in his own room with the door closed always and gets much love, room to run around, and many delicious treats and fresh fruits and vegetables. He will never meet Julia for his safety, of course. I love the little buck to the hammy freak. All right, so I filmed us shopping for some of the supplies for Julia as I thought it was so cute that Salah was acting like a cat dad already. We didn't get nail clippers though, as you will see, because we have a groomer nearby we will take her to as she's not afraid of being transported and it is very affordable to take her. All right, so enjoy the rest of the footage and we will have much more to come. She's very playful. We've heard that before. Oh, we didn't get nail clippers because we're going to take them to the groomer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to have them serviced. We'll, we'll get it taken care of. Don't worry about it. <laughs> We've heard that before. Full and funny, so she will be naturally entertaining. I have had cats my whole life from very young. My first cat was Panda. She was a black and white, and I don't remember her much, but I remember sneaking some of her dry cat food as a small toddler from then on i always had a cat in the home and to i feel eat, like some to eat like like chantal ate cat food when she was a <laughs> is that what she just said i remember sneaking some of her dry food 
to eat for you. <laughs> Something is missing with that one. The affection of a cat is different than human affection. Not necessarily superior, just different. And if you have ever felt the love of a pet, you know what I mean. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Time to go shopping for a new family member. <laughs> what a lovely token. Hi. Hi. He heard you. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to try her out on some food first and then we're going to come. Why is she out of breath? I mean, I'd imagine that they drove to a parking lot, parked in the parking lot, and then walked inside. And it, like The first thing they saw was the toucan. And Chantal's like out of breath. But you know what? When I lived in Arizona during a summer like this, and I don't know how hot it is in Kuwait, but I mean, June? I'd imagine by now it's in the Fahrenheit-wise, it's probably in the 90s, hundreds. Probably the 90s. So what is that for Celsius? Like 40s? So it's probably creeping up there. When it was that hot in Phoenix, I remember parking in parking lots of like supermarkets and running inside just because it was so unbearable to be on that like black hot pavement like that. I would need to get to air conditioning so quickly. Like it, it was just horrible. <laughs> so I, I bet, I bet that Chantal throughout the summer like this, the next few months, I think that these little outings will be less and less come back and get it if she likes it. This is applause, chicken and tuna, <laughs> wet food. <laughs> Hope she'll like it. Yeah, cat dad. <laughs> okay, well, I need one of these. I'm gonna get her a poop scoop. Let's look at these things here. Look those big ones. Head scratcher. <laughs> you having fun? <laughs> okay. Where are they getting money for this? That's what I wonder. This is this is not a flattering screenshot, by the way. But I mean, really, I mean, Chantal barely uploads. She doesn't go live. I mean, the memberships and everything. I mean, at this point, she does that little budget beezing thing. So you can be a member on her channel for 99 cents. Like a, a scratching post, two big things of this, and a whole bunch of cat rent, food, utilities. Like, how is this be? <laughs> I think that he, I, I, I think that he's intervening financially at this point. I think that he's taking care of some stuff. I think that they have some sort of agreement where it's like, okay, well, Chantal, you know your purpose, you know your function in this relationship and everything and what the ultimate goal is. So Sala or Sala's family or wherever the money's coming from, they don't mind keeping it you know, going and whatever while she's in Kuwait. So as long as it leads to what they want in the end. Yalla. So do I think that Chantal is bankrolling this entire season? I don't know. I don't. I Because I, I don't think she can. <laughs> okay. We're gonna try a small bag of the Happy Cat to see if she likes it, and then we'll get a bigger one if she does. Made in Germany. Not bad. <laughs> oh, here's some toys here, babe. I'm gonna get her a combination of toys. Looks cute. Yeah. We need a brush. You know, she's she has a cat, so she has a long hair. She needs this one. Yes. <laughs> I thought they were buying it for him. I mean, look at his hair. Holy cow. Whoa. When are you getting groomed? So she has a long hair. She needs this one. I 
I, I can't with this royalty free music blasting while she's like filming cat treats. Like, like <laughs> who cares? <laughs> some neo creamy treats all cats love these litter box yeah yella so she will feel comfortable here yes good taste and good wash yes do better so as you know we're here getting some stuff for our new kitty <laughs> what are you doing? just teasing <laughs> you tease it I wonder what people think their relationship is when they go out in public like this. I mean, of course, I don't know the societal norms of Kuwait and the Middle East or whatever. I mean, maybe it's just assumed if you see a man walking with a female presenting person like this, it's just assumed that it's your wife. Like you would never, you would never be allowed to walk around with the opposite sex and it'd be like a friend or maybe they think it's like, I don't know, like his mom or like, <laughs> or like an aunt or it's just, I don't know. Or, or maybe, or maybe in the, the people in Kuwait, like know what's kind of going on you know maybe they realize like oh and we see what he's doing we know why he's with her just teasing <laughs> what do you see julia julia bees it already huh yeah welcome to bees in the world she saw the reflection of my phone and the sun on the wall and now she won't let it go. So curious. Mm. I wonder what Sal's end goal is. Does he want to live in Canada? Does he want to be a Canadian resident? Does he eventually want to come to the United States? Like, what is his end end goal? Like, and when is he going to be able to come to Canada? Because, I mean, she's been to Kuwait twice. Because there's something about if you have a Canadian passport, you're allowed to, like, visit a whole bunch of different countries. But, like, for me, like a United States citizen, it's not the same. Like, I can't go to the same countries that Canadians have access to. But, I mean, you'd definitely be allowed to come into the United States if he became a Canadian citizen. So is he trying to, like, eventually get... United States citizenship? Like, what's he, what's he doing? What's he after? What do you want, Sala? You want one of these? You want one of these, Sala? <laughs> Stupid. Hi, Julia. He's still looking up. She loves to lay by the window, but she's not laying by the window right now. What, what, wouldn't you think to vlog this when she was laying by the window? She's filming a spot on the top of this couch that overlooks the window. She loves to look out the side this window, but there's no cat. <laughs> Do you think they rented a cat? Do you think they went outside on the sidewalk and just picked up one of the strays and brought it into the house just for this one episode? <laughs>
Oh, look, look, the video. I, I mean, we're just sitting here. Royalty fee, free fee, royalty free music blasting. Whole lot of nothing. Whole lot of nothing. Look, 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 look at the duration, the time duration of this video. You know, con- conveniently. <laughs> Conveniently, we're we're at eight minutes forty five seconds. You know, just just by chance, it, it's you know it, we got to that point. So, I mean, really, the cat is the one doing all the work in this episode. I mean, the cat is the one jumping around. The cat's the one eating. The cat's the one playing. The cat is the one who is making all of the content. But Chantal is the one profiting off of it. So, she's really using the cat for content. So she got a side character off the sidewalk outside of the apartment and brought it inside and poked it and said, hey, make me money. Alright, we have come to the end of the video guys. We just want to thank you so much for watching and sharing this very special moment with us. Now, we know we have taken a break from uploading on the couple's channel here, but we assure you that we have much more content coming up in uh, a little while. So please stay tuned and please subscribe if you have not done so already and like this video. And of course, we will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, this was rough. This was rough. Really, really rough. Um, I think the mo- the biggest takeaway from this episode is what I was talking about when they were in the shopping aisles. And I was kind of like, who's paying for this? Like, where's this coming? So, I mean, Chantal doesn't really upload. And if she does upload, it's her eating. But I mean, e- even the her eating videos, like I'm just I'm just eyeballing it. Like the frequency of them being uploaded, the views on those videos and everything. Like I can just tell you, really. I mean, just like eyeballing it and getting a ballpark number in my head and everything, and then comparing it to her lifestyle and everything. It wouldn't. It wouldn't work. It wouldn't work. So I think that at this point. He's intervening. I, I don't think that he's just sitting at home gaming all day, just just using Chantal as a sugar mama. Because, I mean, really, I, I don't even know if Chantal could be considered a Splenda mama at this point. So I think that he works or the family is helping him pay for it somehow or something. Something, there's another stream of revenue because if there weren't and they were completely reliant on Chantal, it, it wouldn't make sense. The, the decisions and like moving to the new apartment and buying you know, all these cat supplies and everything, it wouldn't be happening. They would have stayed in the old cheaper apartment. They wouldn't have gotten all these new supplies and everything. So I think the biggest takeaway from this video is that another stream of revenue is present. So, yeah, that's about it.